What's up my fellow FIFA hooligans? I'm Gaming Seth. Thank you for checking out another FIFA 20 video. If you find the content useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be diving into the process of quickly developing your youth academy players to be these hosses in your starting lineup. In my examples, I'm going to use Elliot Wright, who I scouted from England. The main thing to remember is the potential does matter in these cases. This guy is stupid good already and has the potential to be in the lower 90s. So after I scouted him for a while and his potential was actually shrinking on the higher end, then I realized I wanted him so I signed him onto my youth squad. Now. The scouts I have are nothing special. There was a two and a three star. Um, I usually try and go for higher judgment than experience. I don't really care about the experience all that much. Um, but at this point, I just want as many players as I can get. And I have a limited budget. So um, from this point of view, I just wanted decent scouts to get out there and start looking for players. I train the players that I really want to develop every single week I don't actually go in and begin the training I simulate all of them but I never miss a weekly training session so every single week I guess it's on the Sunday I start a new session and I change the drill that he's gonna be doing that particular week um, there are a lot of ways you could do this uh, I've seen several people that uh, basically train one player in each slot and every week they have that same I've seen others where they do all five slots with the same player I like that approach just because normally I like to focus on one maybe two uh, really good prospects that I can develop so from my point of view I use up the majority on the one player that I really want to develop in this specific scenario, um, you can see my player is now at a 71, which means he has grown 9 overall points in roughly like 7 months or so. Um, we're in March now, and I got him in October. This was a weekly thing. Every single time I would train him, I would change up some of the exercises. And the main thing that a lot of people neglect is regardless of the position of the player, you always want to do one or two uh, drills that don't necessarily seem to apply to him. Um, one of the main things for my center mid right was I wanted to get him defensively sound, even though he was a center mid or center attacking midfielder. One of the big positives and upsides to that is you develop uh, properties or skills that are normally not really worked on. So you're improving the player's development and his overall potential because you're actually growing him in more uh, capabilities, if you will, than if you were only doing, for example, like adept attacking scenarios or passing or shooting or something like that um, so that's one of the things I noticed really helped accelerate um, especially when they're absolutely horrible in in Wright's case it was in like the low 30s and I think some attributes were even in the 20s so just getting a C on those drills he would still jump up one or two points in each of those attributes. So that helped in the long run. Obviously, I always have a minimum of two, if not three or four drills that really improve his attacking or passing or shooting or something like that. And I always like to couple it with a drill that will either improve his sprint speed and acceleration or that will help greatly improve his stamina, which is always a plus because then you don't have to sub him out. So kind of to wrap up this video, this is in May already. He is now at a 72, almost at a 73. I've promoted him to my first team. He's starting in the first team. Now I'm basically just keeping two drills open for him. And one is the adept defending scenario and the other one is the attacking scenario. 
and he'll be a 73 before the end of the season. So that will mean he went up 11 points from the time that I first put him on my youth squad to the end of the season, which was roughly about nine months, which is phenomenal. It's basically an overall point per month. And I did that by really just working on drills that a lot of times I don't think would apply to a specific position. I'm not saying go out and do goalkeeping drills or something like that for a center mid, but definitely look at the defensive qualities, look at pace and stamina. And if he's a defender, maybe look at the opposite side of attacking drills and passing, maybe even shooting, things like that that will make him a more well-rounded player and help his overall, not just certain attributes that you think are the most important. Guys, that's really all I have for you. Uh, I've tested this out uh, about three or four times now with different players, and I was able to get very similar success. I'm sure if you went in and played all of the training sessions, then you would be able to get even quicker results and maybe even get up to 15 or more uh, overall points in a season. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, check out the other videos for more useful content. See you on the next one.